Hey everyone, Chrissy here, and today we are at Cowfish Restaurant in CityWalk to try some burgoosie. If you're thinking of heading to this fun restaurant, I'm going to go over all of the details to help you decide if it would be a good choice for you and your family. So let's get into it. The Cowfish is a full-service restaurant located in the heart of Universal CityWalk. If you're a first-timer, Universal CityWalk is an entertainment hub located between the two theme parks. The Cowfish is open for lunch and a dinner and is a sushi burger bar. Here, you can choose between custom-designed burgers or saddle up with some sushi. But what they are really known for is their inventive burgushi fusion creations that merge the two together. We visited on a Friday evening after a very long day at Universal with my best friend who flew into town to celebrate my birthday. So we were starving by the time that we made it there for our five o'clock reservations. When you first arrive, you'll check in with the host out front, and when your table is ready, you'll head straight upstairs to the dining area and sushi bar. You'll have the option of dining either inside or outside in the patio area, and we decided to dine inside to take advantage of the AC. The atmosphere here is very bright and lively, and it has some really fun modern decor and colorful artwork. The sushi bar is located in the very center of the dining room, and the tables are located around the outside of the room along the walls. And the menu here is pretty massive, starting with the drink menu. You can choose from a variety of cocktails, beers, wine, spiked milkshakes, and even some hot or cold sake. On the food side, the appetizer prices range anywhere between $9 to $17, and we decided to start our meal with the crispy calamari tea and tea and the crab rangoon dip. The Crispy Calamari TNT, which stands for Calamari Tubes and Tentacles, which are flash fried and served with a delicious sweet chili sauce. The calamari and chili sauce were really good, but my only complaint is that they didn't give us enough sauce, so we ended up asking our waitress for a side to get a little bit more. The Crab Rangoon Dip is a creamy crab rangoon with Parmesan panko crust, wonton crisp, sweet chili sauce, and chives. This ended up being our favorite of the two. If you're a fan of crab rangoons, then I highly recommend this appetizer. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a ton of options to pick from for the entrees. You can go with one of their many different burgers or their wide variety of regular makimono sushi rolls as well as burgushi fusion rolls and handhelds. If you do want to try a little bit of everything, you can also go with one of their two bento boxes. I decided to go with one of their burgushi handhelds, the high-class hillbilly southern style barbecue and this comes with pulled pork, caramelized onions, barbecue sauce wrapped in potato, and flash fried. And it's topped with their house-made bacon coleslaw and chives. And I was really excited to receive this because look at how impressive this looks. Unfortunately, my potato straws were burned, so I wasn't able to enjoy them. And my barbecue she was a little more coleslaw than pulled pork. And to be honest, I really couldn't find the pulled pork at all. I actually preferred what my friend Michelle ordered, which is one of their burgushi rolls, Doug's Filet Roll. And this roll comes with avocado, connie, cream cheese, and is topped with a thin layer of seared filet mignon, spicy mayo, scallions, and masago, and is served with a side of pounded ginger sauce. Out of the two burgushi rolls, this is definitely the better one, and I would highly recommend it. For our last entree, Noah went with the Fusion Specialty Bento Box. This is a combo meal featuring both burger and sushi, including a mini burger with American cheese, pickles, chopped red onion, sweet potato fries, Thai cucumbers, edamame, and a choice of four-piece fusion specialty roll or three pieces of mixed nigiri. 
We went with the firecracker roll, which has shrimp and tempura and connie inside, coated with tempura flakes, topped with yellowtail, salmon, spicy mayo, masago, tobiko, and scallions, served with ponzu dipping sauce. This is a good choice if you want a little bit of everything. Our favorite item in the bento box is definitely the firecracker fusion roll. And by the way, if you're finding this information helpful, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to get more ideas like this to do in my beautiful state of Florida. I release a new video every week and the best way to be able to see them is by subscribing. So if you are thinking of heading to the cowfish, here are a few things to keep in mind. Reservations are easier to get as we were able to book our table about a week in advance. The highlights of this restaurant are definitely the Burgushi Fusion options. My favorite items were the Crab Rangoon Dip for the appetizers and the two fusion rolls that we tried, the Doug's Filet and the Firecracker. So I would highly recommend any of these dishes. But there were several options like burgers if you're not feeling as adventurous or have a picky eater. There's definitely something for everyone. If you do go during the Halloween Horror Night season like we did, I don't recommend eating here right before the event starts. Our waitress said that it's the busiest time of day for them between 5 to 6 since everyone is trying to grab a bite to eat before the event starts, so our service probably wasn't the best that it could have been while we were there. And if you made it this far in the video, I would love to hear from you on Instagram at Travels, where I release content almost daily on the videos that I'm currently working on. If you would like to see what other restaurants there are to try in Universal, then you want to check out the playlist that just popped up on the screen. In this playlist, I'm going to go through everything from the whimsical steampunk restaurant Toothsome Chocolate Emporium to an epic meal at Mythos. Until next time, everyone, I hope you have an amazing day and go out and enjoy some Florida sunshine.